Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're gonna to talk about two different methods of chambering around into an AR-15. Um, a lot of times uh, these two methods are debated. People will say one is better than the other. Uh, I'm going to share my experiences with you on this. I do use both methods under different circumstances and I'll explain why, okay? So first, uh, let's just review the two methods. Uh, one is, you know, first of all, when we go to load the gun, we're gonna hit the hit the, the bottom of this bolt catch, pull this back, lock the gun open, put the gun on safe, okay? Then we load our magazine, okay? Put it in, give it a tug, all right? So one method is we can hit the top, hit the top of this, of this little paddle switch over here, right? So the bottom catches it, the top releases it, right? So I'm gonna hit the top, and boom, that puts a round in the chamber that you can see there. So let me unload this gun. Second method, again, we're gonna lock the gun open. And the reason why we always lock the gun open is because uh, it makes inserting the magazine a lot easier. So we're gonna put it in, give it a tug, safety's on. So now instead of hitting the top of the bolt, you know, of this little paddle here, right, the, the bolt release, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pull the charging handle, pull it back, and send it into, you know, put the gun at the battery that way, okay? Let me unload this gun again. Okay, good. All right, good. So, uh, let's talk about how I use these two methods and because, you know, you can see how it might apply to you. So, a lot of times if I'm training people, um, the brand new shooters never shot a gun before and I want to focus on the important things first, okay? So, first thing I want to teach them is gun safety uh, and the next thing I want to do is I just want to teach them to shoot. And AR-15s are great, especially if you've got a red dot on it, you know, very low recoil really easy to get brand new shooters to shoot this gun and enjoy shooting it um, so what I will typically do is I'll lock the gun open okay safety on I'll put the magazine in okay all right and I will leave the bolt open okay safety is on bolts open um, and what I'll do is you know and, and we've already gone gone through this once already without a magazine in the gun so now this is kind of like the second time around I'm going to basically just get them to hold the gun you know position the shoulders look through it um, you know, get the, get the red dot on target. And then what I will do is I will reach around and I'll hit the bolt release over here and put around in the chamber, right? So that's a lot easier. Cause remember, they're holding the gun like this. That's a lot easier than me putting my hand here and, and you know, because I'm kind of standing off to the side behind them. It's kind of awkward for me to put my hand here and run my thumb into their mouth or their nose, okay? Um, pull this out. Um, for that reason, and in that circumstance, I use the bolt release um, because it's just easier for me to put the gun into, into battery for them. Uh, and I kind of use it as a, as a uh, second safety mechanism. Because the first one is the gun's on safe, right? You know, when I give it to them, gun's locked open, gun's on safe, and I, I leave the gun open like this. So um, even if they do something on me, because sometimes I get people that think they know stuff, um, and they'll try to take the safety off on their own. Well, the gun's locked open, uh, so it buys me some extra time because I don't want them to get ahead of me. Okay, so so I use these. I use the, the you know the, the bolt release here uh, as a way of putting the gun into battery when I want to put it into battery, and I don't have to get them out of position. They can be like this, right? I don't I don't have to get them out of position. I just reach around, hit the hit the button, and the gun usually goes into battery. Okay. Now I said usually there. Uh, because maybe one out of 50 times it will not okay so here's the important thing to know when the gun when, when you pull the bolt back right and it's sitting on that bolt catch when you hit the uh, the bolt release the bolt moves forward from that position and there's maybe a quarter of an inch uh, between the back of the bolt or the face of the bolt and the back of of, of the cartridge, right, where it hits this, and picks it up, and slides it forward. If you pull the charging handle back, right, you're actually pulling it back another half inch, okay? So from that position there, right, and you can practice this home on your own AR-15, you know, if you look and look at it, if you can look at it from the point where the bolt is sitting on the bolt catch, if you pull it back, you're gonna see that it goes back another half, uh, quarter inch almost, really, let's say a quarter inch. 
So what that means is if you pull it back with the charging handle, um, the bolt gets a full half inch of forward acceleration before it hits the back of your round here. So it's going to pick it up, it's going to hit it, you know, push it forward with a little bit more force, okay, versus if it's sitting on the bolt catch and you hit the release here, now it only has a quarter inch of, uh, of, of, of travel time, okay. So um, for that reason, I, I, I have found that maybe at one out of 50 times, if I'm hitting the bolt release, it won't pick up the round um, or it won't chamber it. It's very rare. It might be even one out of a hundred. Uh, but if I'm training people in the way that I just described earlier, it's a lot more convenient for me to do it like that. But um, in self-defense training, right? So now, you know, when I get into the more advanced training with people and I'm actually teaching them, you know, self-defense rather than just, you know, teaching them how to shoot, um, I will always teach them to run the charging handle uh, because I have found uh, that it is a lot more reliable, okay? Now, uh, on some AR, like this one over here, right? Um, you know, just because I have a scope on this, I got, you know, this this uh, uh, mount over here, the scope mount has the bolts that stick out a lot more, right? Um, I've, I've put in a larger charging handle, like this, right? All right, so there's a larger charging handle, it's an ambidextrous charging handle, uh, and it makes it a lot easier to grab this and, and pull it back. Uh, you can actually, you can even palm it, pull it back this way. Um, the reason why I don't have it on my standard AR-15s is because I find that it, because it sticks out a lot more, uh, a lot of times it will snag on your own clothes. And it'll, you know, what will happen is you'll have, let's say you've got the around the chamber and your gun's on safe. What happens, what will happen is a larger charging handle will snag on your clothes and it can it'll you know it can bring your round out of battery okay uh, in which case if you're using that now pretty much every time you gotta you're gonna go shoot you gotta do a press check to, you know you gotta press this forward to make sure it's in battery so um, I find that just by using a, st a standard charging handle I avoid that altogether so um, even though it's a little bit so you know you know, it can be a little bit more difficult to get in there. Um, I find that it is uh, more reliable. Yes, it is easier to hit the bolt release, but like I said, one out of 50 times, it does not chamber the round. Whereas if I do that method, it always chambers the round. So, so that's why in the, when I teach, you know, like defensive shooting or tactical training, I always teach that um, as opposed to hitting the bolt release. However, uh, like I said earlier, if I'm, Training a brand new shooter, right? And I want to keep the, you know, keep the bolt out of battery until I'm ready for them to shoot. Uh, I will use that bolt release just because it's a lot easier for me to hit the button rather than try to, you know, run my fist into their face trying to put the gun into battery. So, a couple ideas for you guys to think about, um, and you know, I, I don't think there's necessarily a wrong way versus right way. Um, if if you're somebody that really likes hitting that that bolt release, right? Uh, I think that kind of puts you in a position where you, it kind of forces you to do a press check, right? You know, to make sure that it picked up the round, um, you know, because like I said, one out of 50, if not one out of 50, maybe one out of 75 times. Uh, and, you know, I have found that it won't put it in the chamber. And, and that's not just on one gun. That's like on a lot of different ARs. I've seen it happen, different magazines, different ammunition. Um, you know, basically there's a lot of competing forces here. There's the... There's the force of the spring, um, you know, going forward, which is racing the pressure from the magazine spring that's pushing up. Uh, and, you know, sometimes, you know, they, things don't happen in the order that they're supposed to happen. In, um, and it doesn't pick up the round and put it in the chamber. So uh, I just want to share that information with you guys, share my experience. Um, you, know, you know, a lot of times I, I run into people and say, hey, I've never experienced this problem. I'm like, okay, well, how often do you shoot? And they're like, okay, I shoot like you know, four or five times a year, okay? Well, you know, shoot four or five times a week and you'll start seeing that problem happen uh, if you're using the bolt release as opposed to running the, uh, the charging handle. So I hope this video was uh, useful to you guys. If, uh, you know, if you're not a member, subscribe. Uh, post some comments below in the, in the comment section. I'll talk to you guys soon.